First at 11, U.S. Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg visited parts of western North Carolina today, along with Governor Roy Cooper and other local officials. Buttigieg began his day in the River Arts District, discussing the damage with local business owners, Governor Cooper, and Asheville Mayor Esther Manheimer. Then he visited the I-40 washout. It was a topic of conversation throughout the day, discussing rebuilding for the long term. I draw a lot of hope from the people that I've met at every stop and in each community. They have shown enormous resilience. Uh, our job is to make sure that the infrastructure in the future is as resilient as the people in the communities who've been impacted here. Emergency relief funding to the tune of $100 million was already released by his office to help pay for immediate needs. Buttigieg says he is in contact with local DOTs in North Carolina and Tennessee discussing medium and long-term strategies. Mayor Manheimer spoke with our team today, adding the importance of federal officials seeing the damage in person to help get the wheels of government turning faster. I'm moved by the determination of the people I've met here uh, to have a future for this River Arts District and, and for this community. Um, but I'm also sensitive to the way that there's a local conversation unfolding about how that's going to be similar and how it's going to be different from the past. Uh, it's not our role to uh, say what that ought to be like. It is our role to make sure we support that local vision as it takes shape. North Carolina's senior senator charged his congressional colleagues to get back and, in his words, plus up SBA loans, FEMA emergency funds, and DOT help. The Blue Ridge Parkway remains closed in North Carolina due to damage from Helene. Most are adhering to the road closure signs, but the few who don't could now face a penalty. The National Park Service says the damage is too severe to allow driving, biking, or hiking. There are landslides, trees on the road, and some structural damage. The full impact is still being assessed. About 200 workers, including chainsaw crews, are making repairs. Some visitors are ignoring the closed road barriers and moving them. For those disregarding or vandalizing safety barriers, rangers will begin enforcing closure violations and issuing citations at their discretion. There are seen and unseen hazards along the road. And also there's a number of heavy equipment and folks working on the road. So it just impedes that work and it also causes safety hazards for both the people working and the people visiting. Rangers say they appreciate everyone following the rules and being patient. Parkway updates will be posted on the Blue Ridge Parkway's webpage and on the park's social media.